camera on me. Am I in focus? Am I in focus here? Yes, I am. What an amazing day to be alive. And who would have thought that breakdance officially has a dance partner? ACSS. Yes, thank you, Kevin. Thank you. Thank you for bringing ACSS to breakdance. And I'm going to show you some of the top features that I will take advantage of. I should have made this video on Monday. Today is Wednesday, but um, I got a new contract and it's going to be a lot of work and we were mapping things out. And it just by the time I got done with my day, last thing I wanted to do was record a video. So here we are. Here we are today. And I'm going to show you here the power of automatic ACSS with breakdance. Uh, one of the key things that, oh, I'm trying out something new. I'm not having music. So if you like that, type it at the bottom. It's weird for me. I like to have some kind of music while I do things, but I can get over it. Anyway, I know the power of breakdance and ACSS. Now we can, ACSS takes over the typography. All your headings, your, your, your text um, on the website, it's now managed by ACSS. And to be honest with you, they have years of experience of optimizing this. And I don't no longer have to think about it. I choose my font and all of a sudden it takes over. So everything's responsive. Everything's mobile friendly. All the spacings can be adjusted if you want the difference between the H1 and the H2. If you want the spacing between the headings, underneath the headings, all that could be adjusted within breakdance, excuse me, within ACSS. I'm gonna be confusing those things a lot, so ignore me if I make a mistake, I'm sorry. Well, that's the power, that's really powerful because with breakdance, they have an automatic system when you use the builder, but then you're actually able to tweak a lot of things. But um, I'm gonna be honest with you, I never found it intuitive. Um, they use like a the ratio system which I wish, I wish it was easier to understand, but then you have to create all this. I create a style sheet and then change the ratio, which I never did. But now with ACSS, I can just install ACSS and know that there's a baseline that's already optimized, already good. And I think that's the advantage, right? I don't have to think about any of these features within breakdance. My, I know my head's blocking it, but uh, the typography settings here within the global settings, I don't have to think about that anymore. So that's amazing, right? So that's one thing off my head, um, fonts. Um, the box shadow, so out of the box, it has three cool box shadows, have been tested and proven to be overall standardized, right? So you have a medium, large, extra large. You can throw that into your website and you're good to go. Install ACSS, you're ready to go. The next thing, the radius system, the cornering, like, you know, when you want to corner like the images, we have small, medium, large, extra large. You don't have to fumble around with, is it 10 pixels, eight pixels, four rim, two rim, one rim, is it 1.5 rim? You just slap on a class radius M or variable radius M and it's done. I think these are done with, um, with the variables, yeah. You go to the border, you type in, I'm gonna type it here, you type in var, open and close the parentheses. Then you do radius, radius dash M or S or L, whatever you like. Oops, I have chubby fingers when I type. When I record, I can't type to save my life. But radius M now gives you this here, it gives you a nice little radius. And all the, 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 the physical numbers all managed through ACSS. So, I don't have to think about it anymore. Just pick one of these four and move on with my project. One of my favorite features from ACSS is um, contextual spacing. Like I don't, whenever you add a section, you have to normally add uh, spacing in between it. Like you, you would add a space between the heading and the text. Um, it will look something like this. Hold on. So let me add heading and text. So, um, whenever you run it initially, it might look like this, right? It's close up with each other. 
if you add it multiple times, it's it's there like there's no spacing. So you have to go in here. Okay, let me adjust the spacing. Well, now everything's done automatically whenever you add an element into the section. So that's the beauty of this, right? So everything's spaced out evenly accordingly. This works inside of divs. If this works inside of columns, um, everything's spaced the same across your entire website. And I love that because I don't have, to I don't have to think. I know it's a good spacing. If I need extra spacing, I can either, I know you're going to hate this, Kevin, but you can drag this and drag it down if you need more or, or you know what I mean? You can do all that. Or if you want to take it off, you just type in, in the gap, type in zero and you're good to go. You add your spacing wherever you want spacing at and then you're solid, right? I don't recommend doing it. Just do automatic contextual spacing and you're good to go. One of my favorite features is the automatic text balancing, right? So let me turn that off here. So I turned it off. Let me re Oh, save this. Let me go on the front end, scroll down here. And you see that, that the headings off like, right? So whenever you create headings, if you wanted to balance, you just turn that sucker on and all of a sudden all your headings are balanced. I think that's amazing. I think that's just super easy uh, feature that kind of say makes your life easier, right? That you don't really have to think about. Turn it on and that's it. One of my other favorite things is the box layout. Um, I'm actually going to build a website with a box layout. And I was thinking, how do I do this within Breakdance now with 2.8? It's uh, super easy. Add um, either the white. Here's two images I made. So either the white or the dark box layout and you're done. And here's the power of ACSS is all the colors, right? All the colors that you can now use, um, for example, action, your action color, your primary color, secondary color, your accent color, your base, your neutral, right? So the power of this is if you were going to build this out within breakdance to have like, um, let's just start with these six. Um, these six uh, options um, or seven technically seven because the actions of color let me see here I'll change this here oh the action so we have the action color so you have seven each color has seven starting colors and then they have transparencies they have other things as well but to, in order for you to do this within breakdance you would have to go to the global settings and go to colors and on the palette you would have to add one, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven colors, right? For the action and then get the actual colors. So you have to go to the website, figure out what's a, a good variable, what's a good medium, what's a good light, what's a good dark version of this, what's a good dark, ultra dark, plug it in. Then you can use it within breakdance, right? But then you have to repeat that process. One, two, three, four, five, six. You have to repeat that six different six different times. I ain't got time for that. You know, I don't have the time to be doing all this. And all you have to do is write the variable. So let's say, let's see here. Um, this is annoying me. So, um, these seven colors. So let's say I'm going to change this background color that of the dark cell. I'm going to just make it the regular action color. All you have to do is go to the background, go to the color and then um type in that just copy this here make it easier and all you have to do is add it there and now the background of this cell is action but we don't want action we want ultra dark so all you really have to remember is notes action right so we know action ultra light action light medium and dark so we have action light medium dark and then there's an ultra light and the ultra dark within each variable right same thing with primary, primary, ultra light, light, medium, dark, ultra dark in this shade. So ACSS handles all those colors, right? So you go to ACSS, go to the palette and you have all these options to change the colors. Boom. So let's do a secondary. Let's make it a purplish color, right? So the secondary is a purplish color and boom. 
it created all those options for me. See, it used to be this. It used to be this dark purple. Now it's this. So sometimes if it doesn't show in the builder, it's because you have it open. So just make sure you close it and then you relaunch it. Then it should be fine. Yep. So now here, open up the builder. So that's amazing, right? So we do say we have the same thing for the action, same thing for the base. Let's see here, let me see action, action, accent, base in the neutral, right? But here's the power. So we have a banner, right? So we have a neutral trans 50 on it as the, as the overlay color, right? This is how you do with them break dance, but you can make it 10%, 20%, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. You don't have to think about the transparency, about moving, picking the color, choosing um, the uh, opacity. Or here's the amazing part is that you can do the accent color. You can do the primary color. You can do the base color. Every color has a translucent variant. So let's do back to neutral trans 50. So you can just go into your website. So whenever you change this neutral color, this color will also change to match it. If you want a little bit lighter black, you know, this, this all, all this automatically changes, right? You also have now the buttons. You're able to, uh, create the, um, what is this here? The primary, this should be secondary. It's uh, actually button. This is secondary, right? Um, this is here and I'm, I'm looking at the advanced. This is the accent and then this is the base. So all you have to do is add a class and do action. And then now this will be the action color. You know, this button will stylize this color. Excuse me. This class will color colorize the button. Jesus. I can't talk today. I recorded this video twice because the first time I had no audio. So, um, one thing I do recommend doing is once you install uh, ACSS, you go to your global settings and set up some colors, right? So your brand color will be your primary. It can be the accent or whatever you want it to be. So I choose primary, the text, I chose neutral, the, the black headings is the black, the neutral, my links is my action. And then as the background, as this like white color background, it's neutral ultra light. So it's this color neutral ultra light. You set up those things. The reason why you want to set that up in my case, I use uh, more blocks. So whenever I input some of those blocks, they pull the color schemes from the global settings. So as long as you have the brand color in there, you're good to go, right? You add the primary and the brand whenever you import, you know, templates, it would all match. So that's exciting. We also have smart spacing. Some of the features that I'm going to use is this smart spacing. Um, I made an exaggerated, an exaggerated ex uh, kind of an example. So I think I added four EM or four RAM to the spacing between the headings and yeah, 4.5 EM. Uh, but like I said, this is an exaggerated experience, but when you use a rich text element, you can have everything smart spacing. It could just be perfect every time, right? So all you have to do is add the class smart dot uh, slash spacing and you're good to go. One of my other favorite features that I will be using is the breakout is making sure the image, because without this specific class, the image lives inside of lives inside of the grid that you have established. Right. And it's pretty difficult to get it broken out. But now all you have to do is add a class called breakout full and it adds it across and then all you have to do is go to the settings, go to the image, change it to six by nine and the aspect ratio to object fit to cover, because if not, it might be squished up and we see. So I like to do six by nine and then I do cover. So it always be perfectly in the center, but th that's it. These are some of the cool, cool features. Jesus, I can't talk. 
that I will be taken advantage of. But you don't understand the complexity it is to create this color system and be perfect every time, right? And you have it at your fingertips. So all you have to do is really just remember secondary, ultralight, secondary, medium. And you can start that. You can start at that level and slowly get more advanced. As he has more websites, you can do trans, uh, you know, trans 10, trans ultra dark 10. You know, start adding more, more, um, more um, variables to that. So this is extremely exciting, and I'm really, 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 really excited to have ACSS with breakdance, and it's gonna make my life so much more easier. I'm excited. I hope you are as well.